This is the AC induction motor that I built for my graduate mechatronics course. Zoom in here. You can see the coils and the rotor. This is a two pole pair induction motor. The primary windings are connected directly to the voltage source, which is a uh, 20 volt transformer. And the secondary coils are connected to a 220 microfarad uh, capacitor, a little blurry there, that provides a phase delay of 90 degrees. So combining the uh, magnetic fields from both of those sources, that provides a rotating magnetic field inducing current in the the rotor in this case a steel uh, smucker's jar lid resting on a pencil and the current in the rotor in turn creates its own magnetic field that tries to play catch up with the source field Let me demonstrate this in action We'll hook up the uh, hook up the power here, and okay, back on track. Get this hooked up. Just had a loose connection. You can see the rotor starting to turn. I clocked this earlier with a laser tachometer. At steady state, it reaches about 660 RPM. Now, that's not great. Um, you know, it's not not perfect. This is a uh, this is off of house current. And there it fell off. It's not perfectly balanced, so sometimes the rotor will fall off of its bearing. But uh, it's not bad. And I'll hook this up again, and then I'll disconnect it to show you how good that bearing actually is for homemade. So again, getting it back up to speed. I'm going to disconnect the power and it's still still rotating uh pretty well. I didn't get it up to full speed, but it's still rotating well. So that's my AC induction motor. If you're interested in more details, uh let me know.